Hey guys, it's Kristen with another Chance Resale. We are going to be opening a jewelry jar today. Before we start, I just wanted to pop in here and let everybody know that I do not have any internet. My internet went down Saturday. Um, we had a lot of rainstorms, heavy wind. We didn't lose electric, thankfully, but we are still without um, internet. <clears throat> so I was unable to get the weekly newsletter to you guys this morning so as soon as my um, internet comes back I will try to get that out or I might just skip this week. Um, I did do a video yesterday on Sunday. It literally took me six hours. It was probably almost seven hours to upload that video from my cell phone using my cell phone data. It was so slow. Okay, so I'm, I'm unable to upload things. Um, so for this video, I'm going to go over to my parents' house after I record it, and I'm going to hop on their Wi-Fi and upload it to YouTube. Um, I have not finished shipping Friday purse sales. So if you did not get an email from PayPal already that it shipped, because I did get 11 packages out on Saturday morning, um, but the rest of them will have to wait until I can use my computer to print labels. Um, so please have patience with me about that. And then as far as today's video goes, I can use my cell phone to send out um, invoices and stuff. And I think my, my email is working, I think. So um, if you don't get a reply from my emails, well, then that's why. But I'm pretty sure my phone, uh, using the data, it, it, it's able to work okay. Um, it's just going to be hard for me to use my phone to use, like, to invoice and answer emails. It's going to be very difficult. But I'm hoping to have everything back on by then. I don't know. This has never happened to me before. So please have patience with me. Um, you know, I do still have to work. I do still have to have, you know, income coming in. So I would love to just take, you know, the week off or something, but you know, my bills don't take any time off. So, <laughs> so please have patience with me and let's get into this. So I was able to snag this jewelry jar from Savers. Um, so here are the ordering instructions. We are also going to be doing some, um, sterling silver necklace sales before we get into the jewelry jar. I have some pieces um, to offer you guys. You may have seen them before, you may not. So um, we're going to do that first. It is going to be a number video. So um, when you're emailing me, make sure you're including the times. Well, you can do number, number and a brief description of the item um, and the price if you, you know, are able. Uh, make sure you're checking the sold list in the comments section. You can refresh the video after you watch it to get the most up-to-date sold list. Just go out of the video and come back in, and you'll see the sold list updating as you do that. <clears throat> okay, so I can hold shipping for the week. Just remember, as stated in my video on Sunday, I will not be doing a Wednesday video. I will be doing a Wednesday live auction at 7 p.m. Eastern. So keep that in mind. There will be no Wednesday recorded video. There will only be a live auction at 7 p.m. Eastern. All right. And then usual purse sale on Friday. Okay, so this is the jewelry jar. But first, we're gonna go through some sterling silver jewelry. Sterling silver necklaces to be exact. Um, for this part, I'm not going to do the actual cards because a lot of these, um, pieces are in really small bags and I don't want to have to switch out the bags. It just takes too much time. So I'm just going to write the number on the, um, <clears throat> bag. Okay. So we're going to do like so. So this is piece number one. It is sterling silver with like some dried flowers in it. Very pretty. It is a Tasco piece. Remember, Tasco mines in Mexico are closed up. No more uh, sterling silver to be mined out of there. Oh, we got a little knot right here. Oh, there we go. All right, so this does have some 
patina that will be need to polish if you like things polished. It is a nine inch drop, sterling silver, really pretty. So this one is, so my numbers are gonna be on the left side. So this is number one, and we are gonna do this for $25, okay? Number one, $25. All right, so that goes in the baggie. Next, let's do this piece. This I've shown um, a few times. I did actually have two of these, but this is Rotocrosite or, um, oh, what's the other one? I always get the two confused. Um, but it is a real natural, it's a natural stone, sterling silver. It is uh, made in Israel, 925 Israel. And then you have a sterling silver box chain. The drop on the chain is nine inches. Beautiful piece. So this one is number two. And we're going to do that for $30. All right, so number two, $30. All right, now let's do this one. This is a really beautiful cross. It is sterling silver. All of these are gonna be sterling silver unless, you know, I otherwise say. Um, but this is in really great shape. I do believe that it is hollow. Okay, really pretty cross, Mark 925 on the back, and it has a sterling silver popcorn chain. <clears throat> the drop on this one is eight and a half inches. Okay, and this one is number three, and we'll do this one for 30 as well. Okay, so let's continue with... Now, I actually wanted to, to retest this one because... If you guys weren't aware, Nine West does sterling silver pieces. And if I remember correctly, when I first got this, I think that this was sterling silver. They don't mark it. Yeah, it's, it's not marked, so we're gonna, we're gonna see. Let's do the clasp. We'll do the chain. And then we'll do this big, like, pendant type thing. Okay. Yeah, see, look at that. It's a little choppy in here, but it's blue in the rest of the areas. So this is a sterling silver Nine West necklace. And boy, oh boy, is it a honker. There's a lot of sterling here. Okay, it does, it looks like it does need to be polished up maybe a little bit, but it's very pretty. It's Nine West and it's sterling silver. <clears throat> the drop on it without using the extender is seven inches on the drop, so you might need an extender for that. So this one is going to be number four, number four, and we're going to do 30 on that one too. That's a lot of sterling right there, okay? Number four, $30. Bet you guys didn't know that Nine West makes sterling. Let me know in the comments, did you know that? All right, so this one I've had a few times, I've shown a few times, and I've had no bites. So we're gonna do a really good deal on this one. So this is, um, I'm guessing maybe some type of agate or quartz, like a cherry quartz. Um, when I use the gem tester, it comes up in like the quartz line, so 
but that one is garnet right at the top there. So you have a nice big, and see the banding in it, how pretty that is? It's all sterling, garnet on top, really cool flat, like S chain, all sterling silver. This has a really cool clasp. It's kind of like the Monet clasp that opens up. I think that, would they call that a sister clasp? I don't know. All right, so this one has a drop of eight and a half inches. <clears throat> the pendant, can you tell I still haven't gotten a new <laughs> tape measure? Uh, the pendant is two and a half inches. So for this one, it's a lot going on with this one. A lot of sterling, a lot of stone. This one is number five. And I'll do this one for $25. That is a super steal. I think I was offering this around 50. Even for that chain, that's a super, super good deal. All right, so next up we have, this is Judith Jack. Okay, Judith Jack is known for the beautiful marcasites on their pieces. Um, and it is hooked right to the, ch the um, pendant. It's really cool. So the mark for Judith Jack is right there. This is actually an old piece. I believe the new stamp are two J's back to back. And then you have the beautiful sterling silver chain and lobster clasp. So this one is seven and a half inches on the drop. Judith Jack, this is number six, and I'll do that for 30. I'll do that for 30. Yeah, that's a definitely at least a $50 or more item. Okay, then we have, let's do this one. This is by the brand NYE, I believe it is. I forget the name of the actual the actual designer's name for this, but um, I've seen brooches like this and earrings. It's a dogwood, very tarnished, but the name is right there. Um, I love the chain on this. I think this chain is so cool. Very old, spring ring clasp. It doesn't even have the thumb. You just pull back the little, if I can get it to work. Wait, how do you even do it? So you go like this. Okay. All right, so really cool chain, love it. Dogwood, sterling silver, eight inches on the drop. This one is number seven, and we'll do a good deal on this. We'll do that for $24. <clears throat> really great deal, especially for that chain, super old. All right, let's do, we have a Coco Pelli. I'll also do a good deal on this one. I've had it quite a bit. Um, sterling silver, Coco Pelli, same on both sides. Really nice chain, spring ring clasp. <clears throat> Nine inches on the drop. Coco Pelli is number eight. And we'll do that one for 20 bucks. What else do we got? <clears throat> Let's do this one. I've shown this a few times so we can do a good deal on this one too. This one is opal, very old. You can't really see the flash too much in this opal piece, but you can on the side pieces. Um, it's all sterling silver. Chain is connected directly to the pendant. Come on. And then you have a lobster clasp. It does have a little bit of a knot in the chain. The drop is eight and a half inches. Oops, there we go. So we'll do a good deal on this one. This one is number nine. 
and I'm just gonna do 20 bucks. All right, number nine, 20 bucks. So we can get the bag open, there we go. All right, up next, let's do this one. This is, you can layer this piece or you can wear it on its own. Um, it does need to be polished. Um, if you need a polishing cloth, just let me know in the email. I can include one. Um, but this is these are sterling silver satellite little stations. Um, spring ring clasp. Let me give you the total length on this one. Total is 18 inches. All right, for the sterling silver a ball necklace. This one is number 10 and we'll do that for 20 bucks as well. What do we got? Okay, so this one is not sterling. This is not sterling or vermeil. It is just um, gold tone. Okay, you have the uh, butterflies with the pave rhinestones, and you do have an extender on this one. I think if I remember correctly, this one was a little bit of a shorter necklace. Um, it can go for, oh no, it's fine. It can go from 16 inches to 18 inches. Very, very good condition. This one is number 11, and we'll do that for $10. Okay, very pretty. Okay, what's next? This is another Judith Jack piece. So this has the newer um, logo, so let me show you really quick. Right there, see how it's the back-to-back -back J's? And this is a little, again, see with the marcasite, beautiful small mar marcasite pendant, sterling silver uh, box chain as well. Nice lobster closure on it. This one's a nice dainty piece. You can wear it alone or layer it. This one is an eight inch drop, eight inch drop on the pendant, I mean on the chain. This is number 12 and we'll do that one for 25. All right, let's see. I got an empty baggie in here. That's not good. Oh, I have another Coco Pelli. Look at that. So I have this Coco Pelli too. It's a little different, not as detailed. Uh, sterling silver, and this one comes on a sterling silver ball chain. Now let me see what I charged for that Coco Pelli. 20? Okay, so we'll do 20 on this one as well. Let me just... Eight and a half inch drop on this Coco Pelli. This one is number lucky number 13 and we're gonna do $20 on that one as well. All right, let's see, let's see what else. I have a little, um, this one might be a little short. We'll, we'll do some measurements. This one is like a vermeil. It's kind of like um, it's kind of like both. It like it's like sterling and like gold. It's kind of weird. It's a little old. Um, it does have amber right here. It's a little heart. Very cool necklace. Rollo chain. Spring ring clasp with an extender. It does say nine two five. Very unique necklace. So let me do a total length measurement on this one. So this one can go from 15 and a half to 17 inches. So 15 and a half to 17 inches. It is sterling silver with the amber. This one is number 14 and we'll do that for $20 as well. All 
right, we'll do a couple more and then we'll get into the drawer jar. This one I have shown, so um, I've shown it a few times, so we'll do a good deal on it. I think this is Chalcedony. It's got like a green blue uh, hue to it. It's very, very pretty. You can kind of see the green around the outsides and the blue is kind of in the center. It is all sterling silver. Dainty chain with the lobster clasp. Uh, nine inches on the drop. Beautiful, dainty, Chalcedony blue-green, number 15, and we'll do $15, okay, 15 on 15. Okay, let's see. Oh, so I do have a um, 10 karat gold necklace. <clears throat> I'll just show you first. 10 carat and I have shown this on a live sale it's two dolphins one has is like matte with the diamond cuts or you could wear it on the other side and they're both shiny so um, 10 karat gold it is tested and verified uh, nine inches on the drop so I forget what I charged for this one. Um, let's do, I'll do a good deal. Let's do $45. Number 16, $45. And I actually have, no one has ever even seen this before. I actually just got in a 10 karat gold bracelet and it kind of matches. So this is 10 karat gold and it's got the vermeil. So it's got the, um, like the rose 10 karat gold, gold, and it's got uh, white gold, and then it repeats. The dolphins are um, hollow. And let me see where the markings were. That's a marking, but it doesn't say 10 karat. I think it's the, the designer and I can't make it out. Okay, so it's probably on this side. There we go. 10K, and then I don't know what it says on the other side. WCM or something like that. But it's very cute. And it's in very good condition. So because I've never shown this before, I can't really do that great of a deal on it, but it is seven inches, seven inches, um, get a baggie, 10 karat gold. This is number 17 and I'll do, um, $60 on it, $60, number 17. I think that's still a good deal, honestly, though. <laughs> What else do we got? Let's do this little lady. I've shown her a few times, so we'll do a good deal. Um, this is the Cleopatra head. Egyptian revival. Sterling silver. Same on both sides. Um, sterling silver dainty chain with a spring ring clasp. Eight and a half inches on the drop. She is number 18, right? Oops, sorry. Yeah. 18, and we'll do that for 20. Number 18, $20. Okay. We'll do up to 20, so we'll do two more. So this one, I believe is CZ. Let's turn on Pressy and check. But it is sterling silver. It's got a spring ring closure. We'll do a measurement. The drop is eight and a half inches. We'll just wait for Pressy. This is number 19. OK, 
Okay, you want, try not to move your presidium around too much, guys. It does affect the calibration. All right, she may need new batteries. She's been a little slow lately, just a little slow. All right, there we go. Yeah, probably CZ if it goes up a little bit higher in the glass line. So for this one, we'll do $20. Number 19, $20. All right, last piece, number 20. Let's do this guy. Let's open this baggie up. This is a little sterling silver sun face. Very, very cute, especially if you like the celestial things. Sterling silver, sterling silver dainty chain, spring ring clasp. nine inches on the drop this is number 20 and we're going to do 20 dollars 20 on 20. okay all right so that wraps up the sterling silver necklaces um what we're going to do now is we're going to get into the jewelry jar so really quick this is the ordering instructions. So um, this, all this information can also be found down in the description box. And let's get the jewelry jar up here. And we'll back you guys up a little bit so you can see it. I gotta get some baggies. Okay. All right, so we're gonna start, I think, with number 21, right? So this jar I got at Savers, I think it was either last week or the week before. I paid $29.99. They did have two. The other one that was there was, has been there for a couple weeks now, and there's literally all like rubber watches in it and, you know, plastic bangles. So I saw this one and I was like, let's grab it. All right, so let me put this down. I don't wanna break anything. Jeez, I got tape stuck to my finger. All right, so let's back up everything and I will keep this in frame so you guys can see me pull out of it okay um i already see some stone so i'm gonna turn pressy on put the box cutter back okay so let's take out a few pieces i can already see hair which is gross oh jeez louise All right, why isn't this coming out? I'm not sure. All right, so let's try just to take out a little bit. Okay, so let's start with that. Okay, let's move you guys over a little bit. All right, Pressy has been started up again. And let's test that first necklace that we saw, this one. Do we say rose quartz? Yes. All right, so let's... Put this back. All right, so it is a necklace. It does have a um, extender. It is a lobster closure. Seems like it's in really good condition. Without the extender, it's an eight inch drop. So very nice condition. Let's get a baggie. 
And we are continuing with number 21, and we will do this for $8, all right? $8, number 21. Oh, I don't have another basket, hang on. Okay. So now this one looks like carnelian. Oh, I think this is even some sterling silver. Oh yeah, 925 right there on the thumb. So, and then look, you have a real pearl. So definitely carnelian. Carnelian is a type of agate. You have some um, tiger's eye, beautiful, and then you have this pendant here. So this is gorgeous. It does have an extender. Without it, it's an eight inch drop. So for this one, this is number 22 and we'll do this one for $15. Number 22, $15. Beautiful necklace for the fall. Oh, these are pretty. Silver Forest, handcrafted in USA, surgical st steel, ear wire, and post. But this is definitely some mother of pearl. So is this sterling silver, these little discs? I don't know. Very pretty though. So this is number 23 and we'll do those for $10. Number 23, $10. All right, what's this big thing? Wow. Um, is this one of those purse things? I think you, um, I don't know how to open it, but I think this might be one of those things that you hang on the edge of a table and then hang your purse on it or like on the bathroom stall wall so like you don't have to put your purse on the floor. I don't really know how this opens, <laughs> but if anybody wants it, it'll be number 24 and I'll just do $4. $24, All right, this is broken. It says patent pending. Oh wait, no, maybe it's not broken. Maybe it's just um, sweater clips. But somebody put a little charm on there. So um, there is some wear. So I'll just do these for a dollar. Just give me the timestamp, okay? It's always easier to untangle when you can unclasp and just pull it through. All right, so this is just a plain chain. I don't see any markings on it. So the drop on this, it's in really great condition. It's a 24, it's actually 24 inches. It's not a drop. 24 total inches. Um, and this is going to be number 25. And we'll do that for five. So number 25, $5. Just got it on my nail. I just got marker on my nail. Okay. Jeez, come on. Well, this is really stuck in here. So we're gonna do a twofer. 
Don't know what's going on with these necklaces, but neither one of them are any type of precious metal. So we're gonna do this little bundle of joy. It's number 26 and we'll do that for $4, okay? Right, and what's this? All right, so this looks like there's something from Coldwater Creek in here. There's something with an arrow. You get this little piece of bells. This, I mean, I don't know if there's gonna be another earring that matches this, but I think it's sterling. So let me just, I'm gonna take this out because I want to see if there's a mate. Okay, so I'm going to keep that out for the mate. So you're going to get all this. I don't know what any of this it really is, but it's your little bundle of joy, number 27. And this little bundle will be $5. Okay, number 27, $5. Just put that on the side. Looks like we have another gold tone chain. Very nice condition. This one's also 24 inches total. This one is number 28, $5. Oh man, I missed the cap. Ugh, I'm getting all covered in marker. <laughs> All right, this looked cool. So this is like a little Damascene brooch. I don't know what happened here. Does it go in there? Yeah, we're good. So really nice, not bad, right? So this one is number 29 and we'll do that for $5, 29, $5. All right, I think these are all just like random bits of things. Why is this piece so stuck? Oh, it's on the, it's in the tape. There we go. All right, I don't wanna take out too much. So you know what, we're gonna save that for the next little pile. We have a really large cross necklace. Very large. It has uh, some discoloration on it though, but it's like the size of my hand. The chain, I mean the chain looks okay, but there's no clasp on the chain. So the drop on the chain is 15 inches. All right, so that is number 30, and we'll do that for five. Got a lot of uh, matchy things we'll look at later. So here's this little wooden necklace, gold tone chain. It's in pretty good shape though. It's about a seven and a half inch drop. So for this one, we'll just do, so it's gonna be number 31 and we'll do that for $4. Number 31, $4. A lot of these little bits. Okay, this is a really nice snowflake. 
This chain looks like it could be gold or something. Okay, I don't see anything there. Oh, look, see? 1 20th, 12 carat, gold filled. All right, and then you got a little snowflake. So this chain is a nine inch drop. I would take that pendant off and put something a little nicer on there. So this is number 32 and we'll do this for $10. Number 32, $10. So we have a little ball chain. Good condition. 10 and a half inch drop. We'll just do that for a dollar. Just give me the timestamp. I don't even know what that is. Silver tone, this is a big chunky. I don't even know what this is or how it goes. <laughs> so this one is a nine inch drop. It's number 33 and we'll just do it for $5. Easy, Dallas. Ay, ay, ay. Dallas, it's just a motorcycle. Actually, it's a truck. It's a big, loud truck. See, this looks pretty. This looks like snowflake obsidian. I can get it out of here. I don't think there's a, a class. All right, this illusion necklace is going to go right in the right in the crafting bin. So if you want it, it's a Claire's one dollar. Give me the timestamp. And here's the pretty snowflake obsidian chip necklace. Beautiful. No clasp. It is a 17 inch drop, 17 inch drop on the Snowflake Obsidian. This is number 34 and we'll do that for 10. Snowflake Obsidian at number 34, $10. All right, this looks like it's gonna be another piece for crafting. This has got a lot of stuff stuck in it, so let's see. Oh, is this two necklaces of the same thing? I think it might be. All right, let's push all that to the side. Oh, I think it might be just two strand. I don't know. All this, $1, give me the timestamp. You guys know how I feel about tangles. I don't like it. I don't like it at all. All right, this says EG. Does it say something on the other side? No. Okay, so EG on that side, and what's over here? Oh, Avon. Avon, a little Avon gold tone chain. It's in very good condition. It's very long. The total length on this is 31 inches. 31 inches total length on the Avon gold tone necklace. Chain, I should say. It's number 35 and I'll do $6. 35, $6. Look at all the marker on my hand. <laughs> hey. Okay. 
Now all this is one big knot as well. So let's find one with a clasp. All right, got one. Got two. Dally, it's okay. There's nobody here, baby. Three, four, five. Okay. So let's move them all over. Dallas, please stop, honey. There's nobody here. So this is all gold tone, this one. Very nice. Uh, let's just check. I don't see anything on the clasp. This one is 29 total inches. 29 total inches on that one. Okay. It is number 36, and I'll do that for five. 36, five dollars. This one looks like it has an H on it. No markings, it does have a second sizing option. So it can go from an eight inch drop to a nine inch drop. Very good condition, gold tone. This is number 37. And we'll do that for five. Number 37, $5. Okay, now this one is kind of interesting. Does that say anything? No. No. Okay. So it's kind of got like a copper, like a coppery look to it, like a gold tone copper kind of look. It's definitely got some wear to it. Um, I'll give you the length. Total length is 28 inches. Total length is 28 inches. And I think I'm going to do all of these as a little bundle because you got the little, I don't know what zodiac sign that is, but it's got some wear to it. And then this one has got wear as well. So I will do all three of these. This is number 38. I'll do all three of those for $2, okay? $2, number 38. All right, I need a new, I need another bucket. Okay. We're about halfway done. All right, that was probably more than I should have taken out. <laughs> All right, so we have a hematite necklace with some clear and green um, chips. Very pretty. Screw barrel clasp. Eight inches on the drop. This one is number... 39 and we'll do that for six dollars number 39 six dollars very good condition dallas please all right this one is not in very great condition dallas um, so we'll just do that for a dollar. Give me the timestamp. Ooh, this one too. Has really pretty mother of pearl beads though right here. But this, um, this, uh, string is really not great. I don't know what in two is. But we're going to do that for a dollar as well. Give me the timestamp.
All right, this actually looks kind of cool. So it's silver tone and it's got, oh, that's really not in good shape. So this will be a dollar in crafting. Yeah, give me the timestamp. Okay. All right. One second. All right, so this is a two strand necklace. I think it's gold tone. You have the little shorter with the pearls and then you have the longer one with this little guy on it. Uh, there is an extender. Where it's sitting right now, it's a seven inch drop and a 10 inch drop. So it might be a little small, not sure. Uh, this will be number 40 and we'll do that for five. This stuff. Okay. That's why I can't do the Goodwill blue boxes anymore. Not only are they complete trash, but it's literally one big knot. Like look at look at this. Am I gonna be able to get all this out of here? <laughs> this is insane. I'm definitely going to have to put you guys on pause. All right, well, let's save that for the for the end or until I can get some of this cleared off. So let's do some other things here is a little AB pave. What is this on here? That's just, yeah, it's just a piece of doo-doo. Um, there is a little bit of wear on this one, but I think it's still pretty. Just has to be cleaned up a little bit. The shortest length is at an eight and a half inch drop. So this one is number 41 and we'll do $4. Um, acrylic screw barrel clasp blue and gold uh, pretty good condition needs a wipe down 11 and a half inch drop this is number 42 five dollars number 42 five dollars This is going to be a dollar in crafting. I think there's are all glass. One dollar, give me the timestamp. This is actually kind of cool. Look at these like speckled or spackled or whatever you want to call it. Black and gold. Really cool. Spring ring closure. 11 inch on the drop. It's actually really neat. This one is number 43. And we'll do that for $5. Alright, 
we got silver tone. This is very long. Purple and clear plastic dangly bits. The drop on this is 15 inches. 15 inches on the drop. Number 44, $5. Maddie, silver tone. This will just be a dollar. Give me the timestamp. I know it's a little specific of an item, so that's why we'll just do a dollar. All right, this does not have a clasp. These are all acrylic. Uh, Mother of Pearl, you know, I mean dyed shell. And then you got this with the big glass piece. That's kind of cool. I can dig it. It's kind of like a copper color. And it is a 13 inch drop. So this is number 45 and we'll do $5. 45, $5. Looks like a uh, double strand necklace. Why won't this go down? <sighs> what the heck? All right, you just got to push it down, but it's two strands. You got the heart and then the lock. There is an extender. Without it, the heart is at eight inches and the lock is at about nine and a half. So for that necklace, number 46, we'll do for $5. Oh, that's missing some stuff. So that'll be a dollar. Give me the timestamp. All right, well, I'm saving that big hunk of stuff till the end. So let's just get this out. Oh my gosh, that's really stuck on there. Holy crap. That is like glued. Oh my gosh. That is some serious glue. All right, so that's the last of the jar. <sighs> Whew, all right. So this is, oh, here's the other one. I see the other one right here. Oh, boogers, but it's missing. All right, come on. It's missing the pearl, so maybe we have it somewhere in the jar because these are Avon and they're very pretty. So we'll put those on the side. All this stuff is gonna just be like junk. Um, maybe we'll have that mate. I mean, here's the mate for these actually. They're like a purple thermoset or something. I don't, I don't even really know but the posts don't look like they're even. <laughs> we'll just do those for a dollar. Give me the timestamp. All right, so this will be a dollar also. It's like painted wood. I'm not really sure what's going on with that. Give me the timestamp for that. This is cool because it's a little mother of pearl screw back earring. Oh, look, here's the other one. Yes, this is cool. You know what's funny? I think I have a brooch that goes with that. Oh my gosh, I do. You guys, look. 
Look at that. Tell me that's not the perfect match. <laughs> so I'll sell it as a whole set. Dolly, please stop it, baby. So um, you got the screw backs and then you got the brooch. So I'll sell it as one set. It's number 47. And I'll do... I'll do $18, 47, number 18, I mean, number 47, $18. I don't know why he's growling so much. I mean, there's nobody here. The only thing I could think of is that because I'm talking, he's wondering, you know, where the person is in the house. So what, who am I talking to, you know? See, like all this is, is gonna just annoy me, all this tangle. So we're gonna take Oh, that's because this is all one necklace, this blue one with the silver. So we're going to do all this whole thing, you guys. Look, you got, you got this earring in here. Look, I'm going to give you the mate to that. This earring is in here. I'll give you that mate. This earring, there's that mate. <laughs> Here's this meat right here, okay? So you got all that. Who knows what's in it? It'll be your little treasure hunt. Number 48, and we'll do five bucks. How about that? Oh, here, see that? See that uh, hoop earring right there? Here's the mate right here, the hoop. I think I just dropped something, so hang on. Yep, one of the earrings. Okay. So five bucks, number 48, is that little bundle of joy. Not joy for me, though. <laughs> so here's a brooch. This is old, but it's missing stones, so this will be a dollar. Just give me the timestamp. All right. These are earrings. They actually don't look like they're in bad shape. I'll put, I'll include backs with them. This is number 49 and we'll do those for $4. Number 49, $4. All right, all the rest of this stuff, I think is just like, here's a ring, but I think the rest of this is just like miscellaneous. There's a few earrings in here. Like we'll do these for a dollar. Just give me the timestamp. I don't see this pearl which stinks so those will be a dollar I don't know if these are missing anything but those will be a dollar just give me time stamps we have a star tack pin will be a dollar what does that say raven claw I don't know that'll be a dollar we have some eagle earrings that say TMC Weeble. I don't know. Those will be a dollar. These are gross. I don't even want anybody wearing those. These will be a dollar. They might have sterling hooks. I don't know. These are in bad shape. Those, no. Okay, so the rest of that. Here's this ring, a ding ding. Looks like just plastic. Well, it does say something in there. I was gonna say it looks like plastic stones, those per the black ones. 18 karat gold electro plate. Size six and a quarter. There's a little bit of wear on the back, but overall it looks okay. Definitely a vintage ring. Um, this is number 50. And we'll do that for $4 since there's some wear. All right, now this big jumble, there's a lot going on in here. See, like, what's this? I 
Not really sure. I don't really see anything that's super special. It There's definitely quite a few pieces in here. Like there's that like butterfly one, whatever this is. You got this piece, you got the feather piece, you got that piece. So this is number 51, all of it, $5, okay? One five dollars, and that's everything, you guys. Um, so let me know how'd you like it. I thought, I mean, it was an okay jar, there was no sterling, but there was definitely some you know profit to be made. I think, I hope, what I spend on it 24. No, that's not even the, the label. What did I, what was it, 29, 20, 30 dollars? So hopefully, I can make a profit on it. Thank you guys so much for watching. Here are the ordering instructions once again. Remember, there is no video on Wednesday. It'll be a live auction at 7 p.m. Eastern. All right, and then we resume Friday per sale video at 4 p.m. Eastern. All right, guys, give me a thumbs up with, <laughs> with my marker on my nail. Uh, subscribe if you haven't already. It's free. Thanks again, and we will see you in the next one.